It'll be kind of difficult because I want to hold the camera here so you can see. Okay. Pressing tracking down. Rotating it. And nothing. Have it rotated all the way clockwise. And the tracking hasn't done anything. So now I'm going to release the tracking button. All the meters have went back to where they were previously. And it says uh, when this happens that you should uh, go to the restore B section if the tracking's bad. So we're going to have to repeat that, I guess. Um, we'll go down and, and try the restore B again, which is the, the clean and balance. And we never had a G1K uh, leakage lamp light up at all. So if emission's good but too low to track with other guns, you do the clean and balance. So is that the function switch to restore? Like I said, that's correct in here. Set it to restore. Set this switch to clean balance. That's what it says in the notes on the PDF file. Wait 20 seconds. Okay, that's at least 20 seconds. And we do the process, the clean balance, and we're going to start with the green gun again. This time I'm going to switch back to test after I do each one. That's the proper way. I did one gun after the other without ever leaving the restore mode on the uh, selection dial, the function selection, and that was incorrect. So here's the green. I'm going to press it and release when the meter falls to 0 0.2. Here we go. Okay. Now we we'll go back to set the selector for the functions to test, and our meter is going to go wacky for a second. Let them stabilize. Looks like our poor blue gun's actually getting lower. It's on the edge of the bad. I hate that. Hope I didn't hurt anything by doing the clean and balance one after the other. I got a feeling I didn't, but I don't think it, it did what it was supposed to do by doing it in that order, but something made that go to a bad area earlier. So, Like I said, I'm no professional. That's why I didn't pay $2,000 for this when it came out 30 years ago. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to go back to restore. And we're still on clean balance. I'm still going to wait 20 seconds. Okay, we're going to do the blue gun now. I'm going to wait till it falls to 0 0.2. test mode. Wait for our meters to stabilize. See, that blue gun is just on the border of being bad. We'll do our last gun, our red gun. Back to restore. Meters fell. Wait 20 seconds. Okay. We're in restore position. We're on clean and balance. I'm going to do the red gun. Wait until it drops to 0 0.2. Okay, we've done all three guns. Go back to test. Let the meter stabilize. Hmm. Blue gun is actually in the bad again. The other two are holding pretty good in green. In the good area.
mission's still in the bad area, so unfortunately it seems like I'm going to have to go to sea rejuvenate again. I mean, I don't see any way to do it because to set the track in, you should have all the guns up in the green, or at least the yellow area. Well, unfortunately, I, I did go through another rejuvenation process uh, for the blue, and uh, that was because I never could get the tracking to adjust, and it said to do that uh, in the PDF file, but uh, it didn't help. Actually, the blue gun is getting worse, and uh, I'm stopping and not messing with it. The other two are way up in the green, looking good. Uh, the blue is pretty much as bad as it was when I started, so I don't think this process is helping the blue gun. Sounds like the blue gun is going to fail, you know, eventually. But the uh, only test left really in the notes is a, a life test and a focus test, and uh, they're pretty simple. I'm just going to do those right quick. The life test, uh, you just push the life button down when you've got it in the test mode and observe the meter readings and the meter readings will drop some and when they stabilize that gives you an idea about how long life you've got left in your tube sounds like just an estimate if they don't drop that much they're if they don't drop into the bad area if they're in the good area then you should have a reasonable amount of life left if they drop into the bad area which the blue is already in the bad area that means they don't have much life left so I'm pressing the button now pressed it down meters are falling a little bit the red and green are both staying in the, the green in the good area and the blue is in the bad it, it went down even worse so I'm going to let off the button the meters will go up just a little bit but the poor blue gun just doesn't look too good Sounds like this tube is not going to last that long. And the other test, as we've done those, is the focus. And simply press the focus button, and if it lights, then uh, you're okay. And it lit, so we're fine. There's no open, as they say, on the focus. They say that can't be repaired. So that works fine. That's the last of the test, so now we're just going to disconnect everything. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'd like to get that up, but it's been rejuvenated two or three times, and I don't, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. The uh, clean and balance process of the restore process, it actually seems to, to do worse every time I try it. So I tried it a couple of times, like I said, to try to get the tracking to work, and the tracking is not responding at all. The meters won't move up and down. So. Just being honest, wish I had better results, but uh, we're going to disconnect everything and come back and show you what the monitor looks like after the process. Okay, here's the uh, Mortal Kombat 1 monitor after the rejuvenation. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I believe my blue gun in this tube is probably close to failure. Um, I can still get blue, and in the test screens, like when you go into setup, uh, Blue seems to be fine, but it's not as strong as the other two guns after the rejuvenation. The red and the green are very strong, and the blue is very weak. <clears throat> and um, it seems like there's a tint over the entire screen. Um, to me, it looks almost like a greenish-yellowish tint. Um, if I turn up the blue on the neck board, uh, there's a blue cutoff control and uh, a gain control. If I turn up either one of those on the blue, um, it kind of makes the screen look better. It looks more natural, more like the color should. If I back off of them some, then uh, it looks like this. And I don't know if you can tell in this video, but everything is very crisp, very clear. The rejuvenation helped the focus tremendously, which I was surprised. I didn't know it would really improve the focus that much. But uh, the focus is really incredible on the screen compared to what it used to be. But uh, even though the red and the green are very, very intense and very strong, the blue's weak. And the only way I can make the colors on the screen 
look really good like they're supposed to is to turn the blue up higher than normal and then what happens is anything that is kind of white or sometimes if it is blue it will start to bleed pretty badly like Kano um, if I was to start a game up right now and, and show you Kano his white uniform would be bleeding really bad and or Raiden there's Raiden I've got it adjusted now to the point that it looks as good as possible without making those bleed and uh, I'll go ahead right now and uh, just show you the effect I'm talking about. I'll start a game with, with both Kano and Raiden and see if I can get it going. And while I'm doing that, I'll adjust the blue to where, to my eye, the color looks good. And I'll show you what it does. I'll do this with my flashlight so I don't bring any more light into the room to change the video. Okay, right now the colors look much better without the greenish tint over the screen but as you can see Raiden and Kano and uh, even Shang Tsung and right over the dragons in the background there's like a kind of a purplish haze coming off of uh, those areas especially the white uniforms it's like uh, it just looks like you've got the contrast turned up too high just do that so that the uh, game doesn't end. The timer's about to run out. But you can definitely see, especially on Raiden right now, I mean, he's bleeding really bad off of his white uniform. But if I turn it up like that, the colors and all in the background, you know, look more natural. And uh, I can leave it turned up like that, but uh, it looks awful to play with it that way. And then you can turn down, like, the screen control on the flyback transformer and get it down enough to where that's not bleeding that way, but then the entire screen goes way, way too dark. Or you could even use a brightness control on the remote control board here under the control panel. And again, the screen just, you know, it gets too dark, you know, or turn the contrast down. And, and it gets so dark, you just, you don't want to play that way. So um, it just seems to me, you know, unless I, I try another process and see if the rejuvenation takes a second time through, which I, I don't think it's going to change. You know, um, I did it a couple of times on, on the blue color. And uh, I heard if you go a little too crazy, you could completely ruin the tube. But uh, I'm really happy that the focus and everything is improved much more clear uh, if you go through the setup menus I mean the text is just really crisp I uh, just wanted to show you a little clip of the diagnostic screens they look nice and clear but uh, looks like the only thing that's going to help this monitor is probably a new tube and uh, or full replacement and I'm running out of space on this memory card so we'll talk to you later thanks guys